Okay, this is your weekly assessment for Friday, May 14th. Friday, May 14th, you're going to read a Native American school. Mine looks a little different, but you're going to read the whole story, a Native American school. Then we're, you're going to pause me and read that at least twice and then bring me back. We'll do number one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, number one, what fact does the author want you to know about Paula? A, B, or C? What fact does the author want readers or you to know about Paula? A, B, or C? Two, what does the author want you to know about dream catchers? What does the author want readers to know about dream catchers? A, B, or C. Three. The author tells about tapping maple trees to A, B, or C. The author tells about tapping maple trees to A, B, or C. You know, you can pause me anytime you need to. Four, why did the author write this story? A, B, or C. A, B, or C. Why did the author write this story? A, B, or C. And five. What does the author want readers to learn from the pictures in this story? The author shows the pictures in the story so readers and then you finish the rest what did he want the readers to learn from the pictures that he put in the story the author shows the pictures in the story so readers what does he want the readers to learn about in this story? Why does he do the pictures? Okay, get that copied. Pause me, get it copied, and answer this one. Then bring me back. Okay, six. Which word is the opposite of after? Opposite of after. A, B, or C. Seven. Class is over. Which word is the opposite of over? A, B, or C. Which word is the opposite of over? A, B, or C. Eight. That night, Paula puts on her skirt and shawl. Which word is the opposite of night? Which word is the opposite of night? Nine and ten are by yourself. Eleven and twelve are by yourself. Okay, so you can pause me and do those. Bring me back and we'll look at thirteen. Okay, how do you break the word indeed into syllables? Indeed, indeed. Is it I-N-D slash E-E-D? Is it I-N slash D-E-E-D? Is it I-N-D-E-E slash D? 
end, eed, indeed, end, indeed. That's hard. Which, how do you break indeed into two syllables? And which one shows a vowel team? That means two vowels put together. S A E R or A U? Which one shows two vowels put together? S A E R or A U? Which one shows a vowel team? And how do you break the word because into syllables? Because. Because. Okay, go through it and make sure you've done them all and send that in. Thank you.